Doorbell just rang. Season tickets are here. All right, well, these are my season tickets. It's the sign that the season is almost here. It is March 6th. The opener is April 2nd, so we are just three and a half weeks away, and the Pirates always send their season tickets out like about three weeks ahead of time. So I'm going to open this up. You can see right here it says... PNC Park at North Shore, so this is from the Pirates. I actually had to have it rerouted to me, or I might have had it yesterday because I moved in September and forgot to update my address. So that was a little bit of uh, anxiety for me. I didn't want my season tickets going to the wrong house. But here we go. Our first look at the season ticket book for the 2018 season. I had my old address on there on the back. So... This is the 2018 book. It looks pretty simple. Nice little modern design there. I'm really interested to check out what the tickets look like. I'm going to have to make sure that I don't show the barcodes though because anybody that watches this video could very easily type in the barcodes in the StubHub and take possession of these tickets. So if you ever have tickets and you want to post a picture of them or a video of them, do not show the barcodes. So I will be careful to keep those blurred out here here is the first look i've got to keep it covered up there because on the right hand side is my opening day ticket it's a pretty sleek design there with the opening day logo and to the left is the 2018 game schedule so you can see that there um looks like that's all we got in the oh wait there's something else in the envelope this is the season ticket holder card. It is probably the number one perk and the reason why I have season tickets because I get into left field an hour before anybody else. Season ticket holders get in at 4.30. The general public doesn't get in until 5.30. So I get to see Pirates batting practice with this card. All I have to do is show it to the person by the uh, bullpen, the security person by the bullpen, they just wave you right into the left field seat. So it also gets you like, I think it's like 15 or 20% off of um, purchases in the Pirates team shop. So got to put this in a safe place because I'm going to need that. All right, going to the second page, this is the design of the tickets this year. You can see the first page is just kind of like a bunch of different logos that the Pirates have used over the years from their current one to the one that they used in the 2000s to the 19 late 80s and early 90s. This was the late 70s, I think. 70s and mid 80s. I think that was like the 60s and that design was used in the 2007 We Will era. But pretty basic design there. No players on the first page. Let's go to the second page. Second page has some um, PNC Park backdrops. And there's also Three River Stadium there. And also it looks like Forbes Field. So they're paying some tribute to some former venues that the Pirates played in. And also some more logos there. No players yet. Let's get to the third page. And the third page has more... Um, just like a really basic design this year. I guess they were... Not really sure what direction that team was going. So that obviously you wouldn't want to put Garrett Cole and Andrew McCutcheon on these tickets because they traded them away. Um, also, Josh Harrison could have gone at any time. So still no players. That's surprising. Usually in the past, the season tickets have always featured players on them. So far, none this year. Let's get to the next page. Page four, back to that number one design, that page number one design, the basic logos. Page five, this might just repeat. Here's page five, it's a repeat of page two. So it looks like we just have three different designs this year in the Pirate Season tickets. Let's get to that sixth page. Page six, just as we expected. Page seven will likely be the same as page one and four. There you have it, yes it is. Next page. Page 8 that takes us up to July. So this was the next page. I just got a phone call that kind of interrupted me, so I don't know if I recorded this or not, but next page. Then we're back to the logo design for the end of July and early August. Then there's this again. 
back to this again in September. And so not a whole lot of creativity and differentiation between the pirate tickets of this year. And our final page is a ticket allocation page where you can write down, I guess, who you're giving your tickets to or whatever. Uh, let's see what's on the back of these tickets. On the back of the tickets, you have some Dunkin' Donuts coupons for $1.49. Can't even read that. It's so small. $1.49 medium hot coffee. I'll never use that because I don't drink coffee. And there is a coupon for some free cactus blossom or fried pickles from Texas Roadhouse. I don't think I've ever even eaten at Texas Roadhouse, so I won't be able to use any of these coupons. Um, all right, so let's see what that... There was an extra book that came with the season tickets. This was the extra book. Season ticket holder handbook. Let's check this out. This probably has all the information that you need to know if you're a season ticket holder. There is a list of contact information, stuff you need to know, uh, gate times. All right, next page, we just have the promo schedule now, 2018 promo schedule. So fireworks are always a big draw in Pittsburgh. Here we have some information about half season plans, 20 game plans. I have a full season plan, uh, all 81 games. Uh, let's see if they change anything up here for the future game exchange. I always end up trading in a lot of my tickets because I have the ballpark pass. In the past two seasons, I've bought the ballpark pass and pretty much used that and just traded in my season tickets and then sold them um, because I would trade them in for like more in-demand games. So it looks like the deadline to exchange games for future games 24 hours prior. I think that's the same. I always go to the, the box office and do it. Now let's see what else. Um, there's a missed game exchange. If you miss a game, you can trade in your unused ticket that you missed out on and you can go to one of these Monday to Thursday games um, but you got to use them up by August the 23rd it looks like or 22nd because they don't offer any in September unfortunately so I've gotten bit by that in the past um, you have to pay a dollar per ticket to exchange it there's a fee on that Looks like they have a guaranteed giveaway program again this year. Uh, basically, you pay $150, and the Pirates will send you all of their giveaways. Um, and two deliveries, one in July and one at the end of the season. I didn't do that last year. Um, I thought about doing it, but um, $150 just seemed a little bit steep. Then there is some more information here. Season ticket holder experiences. This is a big, uh, big plus. Uh, I did a lot of stuff with the uh, season ticket holder experiences last year. I hit on the field. I went to Seven Springs, and there's a couple other ones. Ballpark app is fantastic. Use it every game with my ballpark pass. And we have just some more information here. There's a free haircut. I, I could use that. I definitely need a haircut. I haven't had a haircut since, like, October, so I might be getting a haircut before the season. Might use that free haircut card. Uh, season ticket holder ID card. Uh, usually it comes loaded with some money called Bucks Back with your, um, basically they give it to you for renewing early. So I probably have like $50 on my card and every year I always get a pirate sweatshirt with it. And that's basically it. So a nice little handy little book to throw in my backpack if I ever need it. Uh, all my season tickets are here. Uh, I'm pretty much ready to go for the season. All right, so I'm all ready to go for the season. It's only three and a half weeks away. I'll be at PNC Park on April 2nd, and every single night game, all those 705 games I plan on being there, I don't really know about day games or Sunday games. I might not even bother with those since I live over an hour away from the ballpark now. Uh, it's not really worth driving all that way and just seeing there's no batting practice and then turning around and leaving because a lot of times last year when I lived closer to Pittsburgh, I would just go in, see if there was batting practice. If there wasn't, I would just leave. Uh, basically, I would just look in and see if the field was set up for BP or not. If it wasn't, I would just take off. It was no big deal. I was only like 20 minutes away. But now, being farther away, um, I'm probably not going to go down to the stadium on day games. But really excited for the season. I will give you my predictions on how the Pirates will finish for the year in a future video. I'll probably do an MLB prediction video. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you like taking a look at the Pirates season tickets for 2018. Please subscribe and see you later.